It's God who's touching your heart. It's our loving God and Father who has been waiting, perhaps for some of you it's been waiting for a long time, for you to make the decision to respond. Uh, well, I started going to uh, Catholic Church in Dwajak uh, about a year ago, January uh, 2018. And then our CIA uh, was coming up uh, this past September, and I decided to uh, begin that to learn more about uh, Catholicism and uh, becoming Catholic. Yeah, I'm married a man from Mexico who is Catholic, um, and just the, um, wanting to understand, after being in Mexico, wanting to understand better the Catholic Church. Um, I read the Catechism of the Catholic Church and was shocked at what Catholics really believe. It was very different than what I had been raised thinking they believed. Um, and it just it rang true. It resonated with me as being the church that Christ established. I'm an ex-Baptist minister. So I resigned as of a year ago, in December. It's just the frustration in the Protestant faith. That's what why I started studying the year before I went to Blessed Sacrament. I, when I stepped through the door on March 4th, Blessed Sacrament, it's the first time I've ever entered the Catholic Church. And I was converted then from the Catechism, from the Bible, everything, all the study that I did. I was ready to go right then. And I fasted and I prayed to Jesus. I said, you're going to have to show me. And for seven nights in a row that he brought his Blessed Virgin to me. Same time every night. The world of change in that short time. I was 16 years as a Protestant minister, never that close to Christ. Never. Uh, well, I was doing a lot of Zen meditation and, uh, at the time, and Zen is aggressively amoral, so like kind of figure out your own thing and uh, we'll just sort of stare at the wall and think. And uh, that wasn't enough. Like. So I've been coming to the church for like 10 years with my husband and only recently the boys, now 5 and 8, start asking me why I don't go up for communion and things. So I figured I needed to look further into this so I could give them an intelligent answer. And so I started taking the classes and now I'm just drawn to it. My faith has always been super important to me and um, I just desire, I desire truth and I desire um, my Lord. Our Lady of Guadalupe has um, really been reaching out to me in like a handful of ways um, throughout this whole experience and I just can't ignore it. So.